I'm Timothy Grimes, Associate Editor here at Tech Talk. Unless you've been living in a cave, most of you have already heard about Google's latest, the Google Glass. Well, I'm here today to give you a first look at Apple's wearable technology, the iWatch. Traditional watches have dropped in popularity in recent years. Smartphones already prominently display the time, and we have them in our back pockets, so it can seem redundant to strap a clock to our wrists. But when you start packing sensors and processors into it, they can become a small wearable computer. Most of the functions of iWatch can be found in the rest of Apple's iFamily of gadgets. So let's get to the gingerbread. The interface will be audio, and its voice recognition has made leaps and bounds since Siri was invented. What time is it? That depends. What time zone? Pacific. Military or standard? Standard. It is 2.43 p.m. Pacific Standard. This will be known as Ziggy. Steve Jobs was a die-hard Quantum Leap fan. Well, who hasn't dreamed of wearing the shoes of Admiral and going on a journey through space and time while, while Ziggy leads the way? <laughs> well, get ready to have your dream become a reality. For those of you that enjoy watermelon martinis, it also keeps track of your blood alcohol content. Green for under the legal limit, red for over. Accessories for the iWatch include a belt that sends a vibration to your wrist, letting you know when it's time to stop eating. Other accessories include Bose headphones, a wireless speaker, and an external hard drive in the form of a wristband. The sky's the limit. As an expert in the field of technology, I give this product a rating of 12 out of 12. This product's gonna make a killing in the wearable technology market. 